really loud. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Sunday Tea Book episode 25. Completely unrelated to the upcoming Christmas event on December 25th, although several times <laughs> this coincidence has confused both Jen and myself. In terms of scheduling. It's total coincidence, but every now and then it's like, oh, Christmas is on, on Sunday? No, no, it's not. Calm down. <laughs> Okay, everybody who is freaking out because you thought you were late for Christmas, you're okay. <laughs> Probably none of you. Okay, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Sunday Tea Book. I'm very glad to see Josh coming back. Yes, Josh, we saw your message and I was like, let's get going. Come on, Josh yes, is back. Yes. Fernanda, hey, welcome back to the, to the stream. And uh, JS, welcome. All right, guys, uh, we're stoked to be here. Episode 25, Sunday Tea Book. We're ramping up. Can I spill the beans on the teas? Of course. Anyway, I'll tell you what Sunday Tea Book's about. Oh, Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Anybody saying hello down there? No, they'll come on soon. They're a little sleepy. <laughs> um, yeah, we're ramping up. Uh -huh. We decided a while ago to uh, spoil ourselves as we continue on with our live schedule, which is very robust for the holiday season. Check it out on our website. You can see our whole live schedule. But uh, right after Christmas, we've got like a whole holiday special for you guys. So if you want to hang out... Um, we'll be there for you. We'll be there. And uh, we'll be spoiling ourselves with some really good teas. And we're starting kind of to start already. We're kind of starting know. today. That's kind of what I'm leading up into. So let's have a look at the tea on YouTube. You guys are going to get a nice close up of the leaf that I got off the website. You can don't check worry. it out there. Instagram, has seen Instagram that you get that over the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time. And don't worry, YouTube. You <laughs> will get the uh, brew cam view soon. So, hey, uh, oh, Carol, Carol Vimix. Welcome on Instagram. So you're checking out the tea that we're going to have today. Shui Xian. Okay, yeah. It's a top grade Shui Xian. No, it's not mm. just anyone. And on the wet, on the um, YouTube it's side, you can bush see the... Xian, old bush. Yeah, old bush. You can see the uh, website there. And notice in the description, I'm highlighting the key thing about an old bush Shui Xian. I'm highlighting it is the uh, Tom Wei, the mm. flavor Tom Wei, which is a really great Chinese tasting way to describe the character and depth of this tea. It's like a unique kind of a taste that is hard mm. to pick out something, just yeah. something that we're familiar with, yeah. but very uh, distinctive to mm. an old bush shui xian. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So for you guys on YouTube, that was that was the tea there. And uh, Instagram folks, True oh, Cliff. True Cliff. Yes, if you mean is it from Wugi, is... again, like I showed on the website, I did show the origin. So yes, it's coming from... Uh, from Wu Yi, so I think that's what you mean by True Cliff. So, um, and I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown about what all Sunday Tea Book is about. Absolutely. Cause I'm, hey, tall circus performance. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Um, so Sunday Tea Book, what the heck is Sunday Tea Book, right? Sunday Tea Book is where we take uh, books, papers or articles and we, and with full of, they're full of great information. You wanna more than half face. Oh. Oh, I see. Instagram thing is really tricky to squeeze onto this vertical screen. Yeah, I'm yeah. gone. You're, I'm you're the main host. All right. So what is Sunday Tea Book? Sunday Tea Book is where we take a book, paper, or article that's full of great information, but it's typically written in Chinese, only in Chinese, or maybe the translation is e, and we translate it live here. So um, you might think, holy cow, that's boring. It sounds boring. I even thought it sounded boring. But I realize uh, some you guys recommended that we try something like this, and I realize that over the five years, all those back and forth question and answers I had about the details and nuances of the language, the details and nuances about the tea itself, super great chance to learn. Not only that is it a great chance for you guys to learn, it's a great chance for you guys to help us uh, figure out some of the tricky wordings or what's the best way to say something in English, or maybe if we shouldn't translate it and just keep that word in pinyin because it makes it contains so much information, it's easier just to explain the word once and then use the short, the nice, concise opinion. Things like that are happening. Super fun, super jazzed to see you guys back. Ryan, Igor, Josh, Fernanda, uh, Dr. Ooh. David, hey, welcome the back. Tea Cindy. Tribe is yeah, here. the whole tea tribe just rolled in on YouTube. Um, I'll let you explain the book a little bit and then I will tell the Instagram folks to get over to YouTube. Mm. <laughs> you can start it now already. So, again, this is my mom's book. Uh, and her name is uh, Jenny Wu. I always get her. Her name mixed up? No, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she knows her mom's up, name. It's just, uh, it's, uh, you know, my mom. And her name is Jenny Wu. Right. The book, uh, China Tea, a great beginner book, as well as a great You're book the main host for now. 
right? For the English、uh, speakers to get、uh, a view of a Chinese tea from、mm. the Chinese perspective,、mm. and it touches on so many details and little. Every corners of Chinese tea, it really gets you ready for further yeah, exploration.、Really、and、uh, today we're gonna continue our、uh, oolong tea section with、oh, yeah. uh, Minbei Shui Xian,、uh, Huang Jingui, and、uh, Fo Shou. Fo Shou. I said it right. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So that's that's what's gonna happen today. Those are the teas we're gonna cover.、Um, this is the tea we're gonna be sipping. I'm pretty excited about that. So as a final point, how we're going to go through this book、um, is that I'm going to bring it up on the screen. So Instagram, if you've guessed that、um, I can't do that, you're right. I only do that on YouTube. So we're going to drop off on Instagram soon. I'm going to bring the book right up on the screen. I'll read a section, then we'll go over it. We'll unpack it. We'll figure it out together. And、uh, there's also going to be tea trivia. That's right, guys. You will have your tea <laughs> trivia today. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Took so, him quite a while. To yeah, come up yeah. With I、it. recruited help from the whole household to get my tea trivia questions. I got to kind of. I I couldn't do it. I couldn't come up with questions. I was just at the laptop and the table, and I'm like, I'm blanking, and I was getting nervous. I was getting uncomfortable. You need a little help. Then you just. So I went to the tea table. I went to the tea table and I brewed up some tea. And the juices started to flow, and all the tea trivia fell into place just like that, with help from everybody. It was super wonderful. All right, so jump on over to YouTube. I'm going to grab the Instagram, folks.、Um, I can't wait to get brewing. And we'll see you later, Instagram. We're going to be brewing.、Uh, hopefully, see you. I I looking for <laughs> I looking for. Everybody love your tea trivia. Ah. Yeah. Tall circus. Shoot us a DM about that, okay? If you're still there, shoot us a DM about that, and we'll see. I'm not sure I understand, but if you're looking for a tea university in Asia, we can maybe point you in the right direction. Shoot us a DM, okay? Bye bye. Huh? Anyway, I didn't mean, didn't want to talk over. Oh no, it's okay.、You. I, don't, anyway, I didn't. I didn't even finish. Guys,、that. I'm super excited about today's tea because it's a lot of Shui Xian. So if you have、uh, watched our、uh, vlog about the hundred year old tea、uh, groove, that's gonna be the thing.、Uh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs>、uh, tea groove video.、Um, so this、uh, this Shui Xian is from、uh, Wu San Di, the area, and in the it was、uh, the tea bushes of those Shui Xian were shown in the later part of the. Uh, video is the second tea and the second grove. The second grove and all the tea plants and everything were like much taller than us.、Mm. We did a little clip there, and、um, I remember that. We、growth. also had、mm. a video just、uh, weeks ago that tasting some hundred year old Shui、um, Xian、uh, tea, and、uh, those ones that we tasted was from that exact grove that was so hidden in the forest that. If you were not a tea person, you wouldn't even recognize those are. That's the video,、ones. right? That's the video. It's linked、so、down below. So we tasted that. If you are interested to know more, and、uh, I've saved up a few more、uh, servings, and hopefully,、uh, I guess by the time COVID ended,、uh, we can live our normal life. We will celebrate that with our tea friends again. Yeah. When we are able to shoot, but. I'm very like loving these teas. Those are not、mm. quite. Let's、hundred. show them that one up close so that we didn't give them the brew cam view. Right. Give them the brew cam view. So、uh, let me pour this closer. Oh yeah. We're gonna adjust the camera and everything.、Right. You're getting a live, up close and personal. I might just jiggle this too down a bit. Ah.、Mm. Okay. Dizzy, dizzy. Okay. Perfect. I think that's perfect. I can、uh, come and. Ah、uh, no 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 here. You got、uh, that where you want it? Yes. We're doing some live setup here,、okay. guys. Hope you guys enjoy、okay. it. And just jam that so, right in there, nice and close. Yes, nice and close, nice and close. It's gonna, sh it's gonna focus in. Is、soon. that gonna focus? A little bit closer, a little bit closer. You can do it. It's gonna do it. It's gonna. Yes, do it. here we go. There we go. go. There we go. Look at that lustrous、okay. leaf. Those are not quite a, like a hundred. Let me、years. go to the big one. You freeze. Don't There's around eighty years oh, old. Oh, look at those oh, leaf. leaves. Oh, glory. Leaves, leaves. Right. My bad. <laughs> your your English is getting messed up by me. Yeah. No, it's my own fault. Never your look fault. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, those ones, okay. And all right, if you came over from Instagram, aren't you glad you did now? Just for the,、uh, just for the、uh, close up of that leaf. So、Let's、I'm gonna、out. start brewing. Let's get brewing. All right, you can get brewing, and I'm gonna get on with. What do we do? We're gonna go straight to the book. 
Just kidding, guys. I'm teasing you on purpose. What time is it? It is tea, tea. Trivia. trivia time. All right. Welcome to the cheesiest tea, uh, the cheesiest tea live session you could ever possibly see. We're probably the only, I'm going to go out and say it. If there's anybody else out there who has tea trivia, we're the only tea YouTube channel who has tea trivia. Okay. And they can come ahead and correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Cause I don't think I am. Here we go, guys. Question one. Snow. This was inspired by today's weather, folks. Snow and freezing rain are devastating for spring tea. Is it A, true or B, false? Oh, cool. I might That's do, cool. I might try and pull in really tight for a full FM voice effect. Okay, snow and freezing rain are absolutely devastating for spring tea. Is it A, true or is it B, false? Pretty good, huh? Very nice. Jess said, uh, wow, amazing the leaves. To record them. Oh yeah, yeah, he records. So JS, big shout out. I'm gonna say a public, huge thank you to JS. I didn't ask him to do it, uh, wasn't a request, but he went ahead and record. He has a spreadsheet and mm. let us know, JS, is that a public share or just with me? I don't, it doesn't matter either mm. way, you don't have to share it. You did all the work, mm. but he asked, you know, can I record the questions and use them with, you know, for my own little fun trivia? I'm like, yeah, it would be no big deal. He's got a spreadsheet of every question with all the answers in. It's very pro. Very data intense. It's got which episode it was with, everything. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, we got some answers rolling in. Let's review some of these answers. Igor says it's B, false. Fernanda says it's A, true. Josh says, hmm, I think it's true. Well, if it gets on the T, JS says A, and Cindy says B. Mm. Ryan Smith says false. It affects the T for sure, but it can deepen flavor. So this is a really tricky one, right? Because we see that every now and then we see a season start with some freezing rain or some snow mm -hmm. and it is in general be false. Um, it can of course be devastating if it's severe, prolonged and if you know, if it's a heavy freezing rain and the branches are breaking, um, but it really depends. A little bit of snow. I, I think, okay, and, sorry, oh, oh, I have to I'm going to get corrected. I think. <laughs> because people are starting to talk about this and uh, uh, Josh said, but if you're not talking about the moisture on the tea leaves, you high is bad. Then tea perhaps it could be false. And perhaps it could be false because cold conditions aren't bad. Yeah, there is a public spreadsheet. Oh, that's back to the trivia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, which is great. I just wanted to say this is a very uh, blurry. Right. Mm. It's really not A and B. We make that trivia just, yeah, yeah, for, just fun, for fun, right? And the, the writer's answer is false. But the, the, true, the full answer would be, it depends. Yes, the, yes. Because the, the spring tea, assuming it's a spring, but if, the, uh, if it comes early, before the new sprouts already started, like, I mean, before there's a warm weather for the tea to start sprouting. It's right. Okay. It's like a winter, you know, the tea yes, is not is activated. So uh, the snow, freezing rain, those are okay. But mm. it, or if it already has a sprouted, assuming the February, March has really nice weather, mm. suddenly a, a March a freeze, real cold snap. Or so, it's very bad. Right. It's, it's, you know, if you have a sprouts, you know that that kills it. This is exactly the, why I, I yes. knew this was blurry, but it's a good discussion, right? right. I like it's that. A, it's a great discussion mm. and people already... It's sort uh, of like if the, if the tea take off, took, already took off its yes. winter jacket and yes. then there's a deep freeze, oh man, yes. it's in trouble. Besides the buds, the plant could get hurt because like you said, they're already ready to sprout mm. and this They switched gears into their spring yes, mode. it could mm. be bad, but it's... Uh, uh, you know, so everybody is. gets a right answer for that that's one. Right. Great job, guys. I think guys. that's more fair. Yeah. Okay, so questions. We have some pro here. See, yeah, yeah, Josh really said good. That it depends. It's a kind of what I was going. That's for. right. Question two: The earlier a rock tea is made, the higher the quality. A true or B false? This is really in my way, Ashley. The earlier a rock tea is made, the higher the quality. Yeah, so that's a great point. Like I purposely put a fuzzy answer with true false just to stimulate some discussion and some chit chat. That's the essence of tea trivia. Really? Yeah, yeah. Have fun. And there's no right and wrong answer too. I forgot to say that. This is not like a quiz. I think most of the tribe knows this, but right. if anybody's Even some of our uh, thing was just anybody's crazy. new to tea trivia, this is just a warm up to have some fun while we get the tea flowing. We also haven't asked you guys yet what's in your cup, so mm, shout out at any, any point. 
any point during the whole time, let us know what you're drinking. If you suddenly taste something that's just amazing and it, and you just need to shoot that in randomly into the conversation, do it. We oh. want it. We want to hear about Sorry, your... not irrelevant. Because mm. I, I took the tea out, the whole bag was like, you know, when I took that out, oh, it boy, was I'm going so to the brew can. They, these guys want to see this. This is a... No pressure, huh? Oh, yeah, move this. Oh, can I move it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just loading up the uh, yeasting teapot. Look at that. It's just... It's to, I, the, it's I, to the brim. I do the kind of... I like the classic, like, Kung Fu brewing with a little bit of finger help. <laughs> but... Okay. Show them that. Yeah. Mm. I love, you know, one thing I've noticed about uh, about top grade oh. or high-end teas or really good teas is the um, really like the aroma is less booming. It's really rich and it's deep, but it's not really up in my How face. How should I say? It's, uh, yeah, booming is a good word. I mean, less, I call, often call that flowy. It's not like a... Like a right. really it didn't fill the room. Fill the mm. room. It will eventually oh, yeah. overflow sure there, but it's not a kind of flowy one. It's really sticky. But this whole area, we will smell that and it has depth. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to the question so they can concentrate right, on the right. question. I see right. lots of, lots of um, thoughts about it coming mm. in. Not gonna. Rinse it. I'll talk <laughs> about some teas that folks are having. Dr. David is having a Choupoir Nano uh, Mountain. Um, JS is drinking an Age de Hong Pao 2014. But after, I think I'll drink some more black tea. Uh, black tea mead. Oh, interesting. Ryan Smith. So hey, welcome, picture. Ryan. If I didn't say hi yet, I've got a 2002 Tailiang Ra Puar today. Just finished a rinse right now. Oh, he's just getting into it. And. Um, same as this morning, Fernandez continuing with her uh, Yo Feng Zai. Did I say that right? Is that mm -hmm. H? No, Jai. 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 Um, I knew something was wrong with that. And did I miss anybody's teas? Oh, and Fernanda even said, guys, please remember to give th thumbs up to the video. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Thank we, you. We don't do too much of that during we our... We often forget. Sometimes we yeah, do that. Yeah. yeah. So the earlier... Let's come back to the question. I see we've got some answers. We've got B, false, false, true, true. False, false. It, uh, again, in general, um, I'm going to lean towards a false for rock tea. It has a long processing time to be properly done. So in general, we don't want to see rock tea made the earlier the better, rushing a spring thing. Mm -hmm. I see somebody, I heard somebody jump onto the Discord and, um, and uh, leave a little comment. So guys, the link to the Discord this time is down below. If you want to jump on the voice channel, you'll be able to shout out uh, to us. We will hear you. And when we're on the Discord page, you'll be heard by everybody. Mm. Oh boy, smell that. Oh boy, okay, it has to have a tea moment. I'm gonna let them see the next question so they can think, well, we just space out on the tea, okay? Mm. All right, switching voices. The Shui Xian, oh, how appropriate. The Shui Xian cultivar is A, a bush, B, a clone, C, not a cultivar at all, or D, a tree. Ooh. The Shui Xian cultivar <laughs> is a bush, a clone, not a Star Wars clone, C, not a cultivar at all, or D, a tree. Um. I hope I answered the previous question sufficiently. I think it was easy. Rock tea shouldn't be early, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, early in terms of the spring. It's spring. not an early spring thing. I called out spring. I'm cool. And that was Ryan posting pics of tea and what's in the cup channel. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Cool. Oh, boy. Let's... The aroma is divine here. It just has a really strong tone way. Old, old bush. Oh, speaking of bush, because we have been sampling a lot of tea. I noticed in at least the recent like one, two years, I really have somebody... The sample, every, if it's a Shui Xian sample, like rock tea, Shui Xian sample, everybody call themselves an old bush. Mm. There's as if, if you don't call that old bush, the Shui Xian doesn't sell or something. Well, not many are old bush. Mm. You know, nowadays, if you look at uh, 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 old bush, Shui Xian, Lao Cong Shui Xian, or stuff, don't think too much, just uh, drink it. Mm. It's a, almost become the full name as a label. Rather yeah, than indicating yeah. The thing. that's yeah. always the, 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 our recommendation, right? Is just sip it 
and do a value assessment. And if you like the value, yeah. grab and it. If it's an older bush, if it's real, it will have this unique toy. It comes from mm. that age. Mm. What would that taste like? Watery. Watery, woody almost. Taste of water, not most of it watery. Mm -hmm. and That's a good distinction. Like it has that spring water clarity in the flavor. Yes, yes. Not it's the weird, thinness of water. A certain one. Mm. Mm. I didn't say much. Mm -hmm. This tea make me makes I me. I try because I you are the you are the flavor picker. I I don't know. It's a, it's just so it's a lot of <laughs> no. It's really wonderful. Woody, watery. It's got. It still has the mineral. Of course, mineral. Um, granite mostly right now. Um, I'm holding out. This is infusion one. So the tobacco. I suspect tobacco. Uh, Dark chocolate, those things soft. are on the way. This is a, it's it very is soft. soft. Mm. The texture of the tea is like a silk. Mm. No. Okay, I think it's we got a whole wa oh, okay. rafter of answers. Let's check these out. So let's, uh, Josh started with, ooh, another odd one. I think that depends on, it uh, depends again, spring yan cha. Oh, that was for the yan cha. Mm. When spring yan cha is great, but so is some fall and some winter. I had a winter. Mm. Yeah, so back, back to wait, wait, wait. Uh, just wait, way, way oh. up here. But Whoa. back to, I missed so back much. to that is just, really um, zooming out. yeah, really zoned me out too. Yeah, spring in China is great, mm. but there's also fall and some winter. Mmm, interesting. I had a winter Wu Yan China that was so unique and delicious. That's very interesting because usually, okay, usually Yan China is one Let's season harvest. So, mm. In terms of a spring, fall, and winter, I'm not sure you're talking about plugging time, but they only harvest one season only mm. in the spring. But it, it, maybe you were talking about uh, when it's released. Uh, right. But uh, mm. it depends on like how you, the winter tea probably is still the spring plug, but released later. Right, maybe I should give them some mm. uh, spirit of the question was to kind of highlight um, like Jen said, right, the tea is plucked in the spring, oh, late spring, I think, so good. and um, and the processing to make a really good rock tea simply just takes a while. So you, if you see that in July from this year or June, I would have my doubts about the how. how Maybe they didn't have time to roast it uh, mm, yet. Exactly. Usually, uh, the good one, not and it's not just a wu and char oolong. A lot mm. of a woolong do two to three times roast, and it's not I roast today, I roast tomorrow. That's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Teas need time to relax, mm. to get the things evened out, and mm. a couple of months later we roast it again, and a couple of months later we mm -hmm. roast it again. That's right. why uh, most of our woolong, uh, especially rock cheese, doesn't arrive till um, till fall, like. Uh, October, November, that's the regular time. Same with our Wudon Danchong, we also mm. oh, yeah. uh, want our premium teas are all like uh, authentically done so that uh, there's mm -hmm. no rush to sell out in one month. It's not gonna go bad. At the mm. same time, it tastes the best. Oh boy. Right, the, the, yeah. the, the yeah. whole depth, like I have uh, like a couple of minutes since I last sipped this tea, mm. but the whole, profile and it's creamy it's a creamy it is so creamy huh? right it's that kind of a, yeah. it's not a greasy creamy it's just a I, no I it's it's it. still in the mouth everywhere and um yeah it's just a way to describe that it's not like some teas are watery and they're still there and that's pleasant too <laughs> but this one has that it's the thickness i think combined with its persistence mm. all right so that was just to finish off because i don't feel like i gave josh okay, okay. a good answer to that right, right, right. and then there was folks drinking tea which i covered and um fernanda we oh, just had Cindy's a Nanyuan drink. mountain uh shupuar to the other day oh wow you didn't know i didn't know <laughs> and cindy is having a shanlin si uh -huh. for her and um oh, ryan nice. was posting so here's that. the answers to this one so we've okay, got everybody says a bush, a bush, 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 bush. and js comes in with the uh Ooh. correct answer d so good one js shui xian is a <laughs> ta -ta -ta tree i just want to clear this up yeah this is bit. also a what well, it's a tree but it's not quite like a poor so uh mm. in terms of the the the, the bio kind of thing 
but in the more common use the term we call that a bush tree and small tree mm. right so bush means I it think doesn't have a threw them off right right Lao right. Tom Shui Xian. right it's a uh, it's a there's no main trunk you can see mm. the uh, the the the, the stands are shooting which out one were you on from, Bo- uh, tr- bush, proper bush. bush right Right. No man trunk, no man trunk, not like maples and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Then you have a tree which is almost like a, uh, like a puar is a tree, mm. uh, that cultivar and uh, that uh, has a man trunk like maple tree and pretty tall. So you can notice that the tree doesn't uh, become branches when they're like a 30 centimeter right. or a meter off ground. They have to grow the man trunk for quite a while till they become branches. And then you have like a street scene, which we call that xiao qiao mu, small tree, just what? for easy. Xiao qiao mu? Xiao qiao mu. Qiao mu means qiao mu. big tree oh, stuff. Oh, oh so, a small big tree. Yeah, what it means is this, it has main trunk, but it doesn't grow like a maple, which is, mm. I, I keep using maple, I hope, I think most North American people yeah, would know. Yeah. And so uh, it doesn't grow like a two meters or a very tall till it become branches. It right. has a main trunk, it's a 30 centimeters, 50 centimeter, a meter, then it's split into the tree trunk, right. like lower tree. Yeah, it's I like think. almost like a dwarf tree or something yes, like that, yes, right? Yes, and so. that's why you hear lao cong shui xian, you don't hear lao cong rou gui, uh, you don't hear lao cong uh, because those are still tea bushes. Mm. Only when it comes to tree-like cultivars, we love those. Uh, age. We, we age, um, pursue the age more. Right, but right. of course, with uh, almost every tea, the older ones usually take better, taste mm. better. Right. Because of the root structure. Right on. All right. So. Um, that is that. Oh. Let's just check it. So, and JS, uh, no, sorry, Josh said, I think A, but I can't remember if C is also true, remembering something interesting about, but a fun fact is surfacing. Mm. Uh, elusive fun fact. So, wait, really? I just wanted to be different. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Good, <laughs> Good job. Go Sometimes it pays to be different, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Ooh, JS, the smart cup. And then somebody reduced to half points as it was a guess. No, full points, full points. And full everybody's points. laughing. Come on, that That's wasn't it. really. That's awesome. Right? 25% okay. success rate. All right, here we go, guys. We're moving on to question four of tea trivia. This citrus fruit looks like a gnarly, messed up hand. This citrus fruit looks like a gnarly, messed up hand from a terrifying Halloween show. Is it A, bergamot, B, pomelo, C, Buddha's hand, or D, a navel orange? (gasps) Okay. I'm just about to start a pot of Mi Xiang Shui Xian, one of my faves. Cool. Josh yells out, Buddha's hand. He literally yelled it out, Buddha's hand. This citrus fruit looks like a messed up gnarly hand. Kind of a pretty big hint. Maybe I was trying to trick you though, you never know. Well, everybody's gonna follow, everybody's gonna follow Josh into my trap. Do you think your pomelo spell wrong? No, I, I had to look it up. I thought it was M-E, no? Okay. Pomelo? No, maybe, I don't know. Fun fact, mm. Italian bergamotto is what they use to flavor Oro Grey, yes. That is so cool. And we'll see more on that later. Cindy, I have one sitting right here on my tea ooh. table. Ooh, ooh, picture in the Reddit. Uh, no, 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 not Reddit. Reddit. <laughs> picture in the Discord, picture in the Discord, or pit, show us a picture. I love right. pictures. It's really hard to find here. Um, Ryan says, I think it's C, but I've always thought that Buddha's hand looked more like an octopus. Mm. Mm. Or Chicken feet. Or my, my daughter said it looked like Cthulhu, if Cthulhu, you're familiar with right, HP right. Lovecraft uh, <laughs> horror. Um, which is where I kind of, I guess, went gnarly and messed up. Um, Josh says, though I'm sure you guys know that, but perhaps the others might not. Oh, yeah. Mm. And we might not have. You never know. I don't know much assume about that. nothing. I assume mm. nothing. Yeah. Yeah, Pomelo is Pomelo. Ha-ha. M-E. Pomelo is... Thank you. Oh, Pomelo. Right. And Cindy You're says, it smells so good. I'm a Pomelo. It's Italian. A Pomelo. <laughs> And JS says, see, all right, guys, you got the right answer. The answer is C, it's the Buddha's hand. Ah. 
I'm reaching out for you. <laughs> Finally, the last question of today's trivia before we dive into Sunday Tea Book is Phil's favorite tea is A, top grade Lapsang, B, Zhanglang Gushu Dan Shu Shen Puar, boy, that's a mouthful, C, top grade Shui Xian, or D, Kimen, which I said in a really mm. Kimen, Tsimen. We're gonna taste that, the Dan Shu Shen Puar. JS says, I've never heard of the fruit, how does it taste? I also, JS had never heard of that fruit when we first introduced mm. Yongchen Fo Shou into our lineup. Um, actually, in the it's, intro, I showed the leaf. Um, the finished tea of Yongchen Fo Shou was that greenish oolong that you saw. Mm. And because we had never, I had never heard of a Buddha's hand either, we went out and found one. And um, <laughs> it wasn't so lucky we found one. It's a while later. I happened to see it that. It was a while, yeah. Every now and then, you know, the local uh, Chinese grocery store carries something. Something exotic. Different. Yeah. So we found this. I was like, we got to try this out. For him. And the answer about how it tastes is basically better talk about the aroma of this fruit. This is a, an aromatic, like booming citrus, floral citrus aroma. When you, mm. like, if you need zest for anything, Maybe not anything. Josh says it's a citrus similar-ish to lemon or cit citron. Citron, citron yeah. Yes, yeah. with a little bit, it's less uh, citrus. I, I found less it's acid. A, a little bit, yeah, less acid mm. citrus, a little bit more floral in it. Mm. Sweeter kind of citrus. Sweeter aroma, yeah, mm. sweeter flavor. Mm. Great Cindy for candy. Cindy should be able to smell that and <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> maybe Cindy accurate. can give us some notes. Yeah, I, it you doesn't can... have much meat. It really doesn't... Mm. It's not a fruit to eat in the meal. We use that in uh, like a Chinese dessert mm. and uh, we pickle. Uh, candy, you it. candy. You candy it. Pickle. Mm. Uh, yeah. And then you can suck on the, the candy and it just make your mouth water and have a strong citrus aroma. I wonder if you could <laughs> stuff shupuar into <laughs> Buddha's hand. People can guess that. Really like an easy. orange. Yeah. <gasps> guess what? Look at that. See? <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard citron, aka. Itra, quite similar. It's almost like uh, limoncello, but not fermented. And that smell in the raw, and that smell in the raw stuff. Yeah, oh, A B C D E F G. <laughs> okay, so the answer here is kind of like Igor said, a lot of them. But right. okay, I forgot to uh, get back to the question. So my favorite tea today is exactly what we're drinking. And it's not just today. Oh, it's there are echo coming through. Somebody's on the voice channel. They can't hear it, but we can hear it. They might hear it through our mic, though. Oh, that's us? Hi. I thought it was somebody talking. <laughs> right, somebody's on the voice channel. So you are on the voice channel. You can say hello if you want. <laughs> so it looks like Lolo just logged in. Hello, Lolo. And we're finished up with tea trivia. I'm going to have to turn it off, I think. It's too echoey. It's going to be too distracting. All right, guys, I'm aborting the... Uh, the voice chat. Oh, it was uh, Cindy. Ah. Let me just, I can maybe mute her. Yeah, I can mute her. I'm just going to mute you for a bit. There we go. I think uh, Is you her, not mute us? Uh, uh, no, because she, uh, it's okay. I'll explain that later. Oh, uh, okay. Um, just because she's on speaker and right. her microphone is picking up the speaker of us coming and then it's coming around and around and we're hearing it again. But they didn't hear it. You guys didn't hear that. So don't worry about it. Um, time to move on with. Right. Shall we? Let's... Ryan is saying, I wonder if you could just stuff a shoe pour into Buddha's hand, kind right. of like an orange. Oh, that's a lot of work. <laughs> mm. It's not round at all. It literally look my hand. Yeah. Imagine how you stuck that. Yeah, yeah. If you... Inside my vein. And my, In my your finger. finger. Yeah, you would be hard to hollow it out. Yeah. And it doesn't. It doesn't peel it's because it has no meat. It really doesn't have meat to speak of. Uh, certainly not like in a in, round shape. Imagine the orange meat meat. It's more yes. white underneath. Like yeah, this. it's more just like the um, mm. all the white stuff. All right, so enough about produce. Let's move on ah. to the tea book. So in the in the book, the first tea that we're covering today is called uh, Narcissus in Northern Fujian. So already quite a difference from the finished one. Distracted! Okay, Narcissus in Northern Fujian is a kind of oolong tea in Northern Fujian with a special quality and feature. Narcissus in Northern Fujian, the top class of oolong tea, now is mainly produced in Jian O and Jianyang City. Uh, shape, tight and strong, color sand green. 
soup clear orange, fragrance strong and mellow, and bottom of leaf, which is brood leaf, yellow green with red edges. All right, so over to my notes. The first thing that I have in my notes is, um, what is this tea? I actually read the name Narcissus in Northern Fujian, and I have no idea what tea it is. Uh, as, a, as, a, as somebody, if I was just getting into Chinese tea, I might think this is just a regular name of a tea. As somebody who knows a few Chinese teas, I'm like, woo, what is this? Narcissus. They translate the Narcissus is the, word, the flower, right? Mm hmm. Yes, it's a flower. And yeah, if you're a gardener, you might even think this is a herbal tea Ooh. made with Narcissus flowers. Pretty rich, huh? I forgot about that. You probably noticed when During our that. Adobe uh, scandal. Yes. But did mm. you taste this? Yeah, it's not bitter. It's not like it's strong. It's not bitter at all. It's so rich and deep. It's just a um, mm. deep. Okay, good teas. Powerful, are forgiving. Yes, mm. and it's really stress proof. Like they can handle different things. Mm. You brew that light, they're good. You brew that strong, they're good. Mm hmm. And that's really good. This I would have with a cigar. <sighs> mm. This could stand up to a cigar. It's very strong. Really? Strong, yeah. Not not bitter like Oh mm. for me this is a way more there are certain teas we have been sampling some um uh dantong mm. a lot of we have been sampling a lot of uh dantong and uh, some of them despite you brew that strong or mm. or light, it has that bitterness. It just has that mm. like mm -hmm. a touch of that bitterness that I don't like. This one even though it's a strongly brewed. You breathe over it too, like it's really them. amazing. Oh, yeah. It's really amazing when you breathe over that because it's so full. So that was my mm -hmm. first one. So it's, this is the Mingbei Shui Xian, so Northern Fujian. Mm -hmm. Shui Xian. Ming is the short form for uh, Fujian and uh, Mingbei means the northern part of uh, Fujian. Mm. Shui Xian, uh, I also see some people translating Shui Xian as a narcissist. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure where and that comes there from. are people translating as a water sprite sprite water sprite mm -hmm. it depends on you put them together or you separate two characters into individual ones so and the other thing that I noticed when I was working on the Finnish translation but I totally didn't notice from this was that it's uh, it has a, a special like the Ming Bei thing is a tea term that I think we've seen it twice now as we've been working through the oolongs mm. And it's not something um, I had come across before, which is, I guess, just a, a, the northern, there's a sort of northern oolongs, like North Fujian oolong and south, like Guangdong is this obviously south oolong, but anyway. No, no, uh, Guangdong mm. is not Fujian. There are two oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, but uh, Pinghe in yes. south Fujian, yeah, that that's cannot Minan, be a... Minan oolong. Minan, Minan oolong, oolong is oh. also a style. Minan oolong, you would uh, think about uh, like a Taiwanese representative. Ah. So uh, it's just words that we never see in English that never came across in terms of of all the different things that's come across in Chinese tea words to the West. These ones somehow got dropped, left out, but they're not. Lots of them got dropped. It right. was a little bit to the more of a tea world because when people mm. go there to source tea, they in contact with the tea farmers or stuff. It's more of a general knowledge. Those are more like a, a little bit of categorized in terms of right. this kind of thing. So, I see. I see. Yeah, it depends. Okay. Okay, so uh, Josh asked if this Jian O Ai Jiao. No, Ai Jiao Wulong is a different uh, cultivar. Shui mm. Xian is a, a, another one where they also um, mm. originates in. I think Ai Jiao we Jian covered Jian uh, two episodes ago, right? I think Ai Jiao. Mm, no, I don't think. Wasn't so. on the list? No. No, oh no, it was we... a trivia question that I asked. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> a few episodes ago, I had Ai Jiao in my trivia. With your... That's right. Right. That's right. When we started oolong, I put that question mm. in right at the beginning of the oolong section. Okay, so we're, we'll cruise on to the next tea. Uh, it was said a monk who lived in a Qi Huyan temple in Ansi town grafted mm. the tea tree branches on the bergamot and carefully cultivated. The method was taught to Yongchun town Shifengyan temple. The junior in the sector had introduced the method and the farmers nearby had planted ever since. 
Okay, that one is really tricky. Um, first, uh, it's sort of weird that they use bergamot instead of fo sho or even Buddha's hand. Because a bergamot is like a, almost a lime kind of thing. It actually loses the whole shape. The smell is and the smell is similar. Is it similar? No, I felt oh. like it was similar when I first just, uh, tried the Earl Grey. Ah, maybe that's why. Because maybe because of the Earl Grey, they thought maybe they're more were more familiar with bergamot. But I feel like it's also pretty a pretty obscure citrus. Mm, mm. And um, so bergamot threw me off. But then Yongchun, I could figure out. Okay, that's for sure. Right. Right. And um, then the the whole the whole legend is a little bit. We get the idea that it was a monk, um, mm. and he grafted it onto a actually right onto a citrus stalk, which is kind of right. weird. So from the tea plant to a citrus uh, uh, fossils. Right. Seems like that weird. Seems like pretty legendary. Oh. But because um, like the kind of the implication is that Yongchun Fo Shou now is actually citrus branch, a citrus tree with a tea growing out of it. Could be. I Could don't be. know. I don't know. I don't know if that's botanically possible. I have no idea. Could be. But oh, yes. But that's a really good point because like here it says, uh, you know, like the tea origin, uh, like started in nor Son Dynasty, and that's about like 12, 1400 years ago. A mm. lot of those kind of starting times is uh, uh, it's good to know, but not necessarily fully. Sometimes it's a legend has a dates back there or right. something like that. It's not a lot of them might not be very it may not accurate. be accurate tea history, yes, right? Yes, in terms of uh, written or recorded as a, uh, some uh, history, or at the same time. What we see as Yongchun Fo Shou today, as the finished tea, could, is widely different from that time. It's right. just that a plan could be recorded as uh, Yongchun Fo Shou at that time already. Right, mm. right. Mm. Um, so Josh has some comments about bergamot vis-a-vis -vis Buddha's hand, where mm. he feels like the bergamot is way more bitter, which um, oh. almost toward Chinoro. Mm. Yeah, and I was surprised. Bitter in terms of taste or smell? Mm, a good question, but I feel like it's taste. Taste, okay. And, okay. and I agree, like the Buddha's hand was quite, um, you know, because you're practically eating the peel. Mm -hmm. And if you eat most citrus peel, it's going to be really hard on your mouth, be like awful bitter. All oh, right. And um, Buddha's hand wasn't like that at all. But he says they're both complex citrus aromas tending toward the floral side rather than the fruit side of the orange, grapefruit, etc. Yeah. family. So that's that. Yeah, I would, that's probably where the similarity kicks in. Okay, okay. I only use tangerine here, never tried bergamot. Mm. Cool. Probably really fresh. Right. And here the, is, uh, in the book, I talk about uh, how this Anxi uh, monk uh, kind of a uh, invented this uh, cultivar mm. and uh, um, pass along to the Shidi in uh, yeah that's a little bit lost like it's gets the it's so um chunky so, in the in the in the translation it's a yeah. little bit hard to understand what happened there so basically he teaches his uh, Shidi Shidi means that they have the same master the, they're mm. the same uh, apprentice. I think you use the word in fellow Finnish, apprentice. Fellow apprentice. Yeah. So yeah. That's the concept, and uh, uh, it's just a fun fact to talk about, and it's quite interesting because right. in uh, Chinese culture and especially old times, uh, we value that apprentice and uh, master, like uh, the teacher and the student relationship, right. is very close. So that's why we don't call that teacher. We call that shifu. You know, that means it's like a father and we have saying like mm. one day a teacher, like a whole life is your father kind of figure. Right. It's a really close family, almost like relationship. That's why the fellow apprentice is not just, a, oh, this is John. This More is like Jack. a brother. That's why we call mm. that Xiong and Di, which means brother or older brother or younger brother. Right. That's their relationship. Same with the sisters and stuff. But adding the word Shi means they are not a necessarily biologically related but they're in this kind of a teacher students family really tight really bond. tight right right yes yes uh, lolo even put a little legend i think he says bergamot accidentally dropped i don't know if we missed a previous one but he says bergamot accidentally dropped on 
onto tea on a ship, as far as I know, probably the Earl Grey legend. I don't know. Let us know if that was the uh, the um, the bergamot comment, oh, Lolo. Cool. That. So those are that's the kind of thing, though. Like tea legends are fun, like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, also, Booth. you wouldn't yeah. believe. <laughs> and so Josh comes in with a really loud. You wouldn't believe. Just on a whim, I went to get my blue narcissus Hermes Cologne to see if it compared at all with the Shui Xian I'm drinking, and it's crazy. It actually has an overlap. Ooh. Oh, interesting. We that's did a video so on that. That's so interesting. You probably maybe you saw it, Josh, because it's kind of interesting that you would grab a perfume. But we did a whole video on tea perfumes just to see yeah, if they yeah, had yeah. how prevalent the tea elements were. We gotta walk away from quote unquote tea perfumes. I feel like they feature those black tea, green tea, yeah, and, and get into flowers that yeah, match. Only that's a the good jasmine call. green tea I could agree, right? agree a little bit, only because that the jasmine is so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Bergamot is used in many perfumes and she and Fernanda says oh, she's allergic okay. to it and Bummer. Josh, I'm not it's not a huge overlap, but there's a definite single note that is present in both It's odd to taste something on my shui xian that I can smell in my bottle of cologne Yeah, that's a bit weird, but mm. but it's actually a great great exercise for your nose and your you know Your whole tasting sen sensory, you know to mm. kind of look for those uh, Slice overlaps like it's not the whole thing smells similar. There's just that something Awesome I'm going to move along. We're going to move mm -hmm. down. Oh, it's sad that the screen doesn't follow, right? I feel right, like and your, your marker. Your... And my great highlighter can't be here. Guys, I'm really sorry about that. I don't know yeah. what happened. I'm definitely going to troubleshoot this, and uh, hopefully by next Sunday, things will be back to normal. Um, but it, we're going to persist. Hopefully, this is still uh, fun, entertaining, and uh, educational all in one big tea ball for you all. Mmm, this is so good. Oh boy. That really, that, that uh, long steep really brought out the, uh, the rock tea elements of the Shui Xian. The, again, no bitter, no astringent, but powerful tobacco, powerful granite, powerful, just and now, now the floral yes. can kind of return. Yes, that's a floral. I found that floral is always accompany that thing to not correct it but to bring that back to that mm. uh, oh, mm. kind of uh, the balance the very soft very stoic presentation of a rock tea Fernanda said, "What a cute pot! Is that our tea pot, or did somebody post something on?" Uh, it could be the uh, on Discord. Discord. Mm. And Cindy says, "No worries, fun, educational, entertaining. That's what we're trying to deliver." You are the star. Right. I was using my highlighter earlier, and I forgot. No point. Nobody mm. can see it. Remember on the first one, I the first tea I was still mm. highlighting. Anyway, um, so let's hit this last tea up and just get back to uh, yes. having some fun and answering questions and just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Golden sweet osmanthus tea. Ooh. Today is all about flowers and fruits. Mm. Yes, very much. Golden sweet osmanthus tea is named by its golden color and fragrance of sweet osmanthus. I had chat see burp. Excuse me. It has two special features which called one early, two odd. Excuse me again. Early refers to sprouting early. That's totally the tea, by the way. This is the tea really like making me have a little reaction. Early refers to sprouting early, picking early, and marketing early. Odd refers to the shape of the tea, slim, uniform, and yellow, slender, symmetrical, bright yellow-green color, interior aroma, odd and fresh, strange, elegant taste, thus known as, although have not taste the elegant taste, have smelled the aromas in the world. Boy, oh boy. Doesn't make any sense So That's right. No, me too. And now that I know, like, the, so my note was basically, um, First, again, back to the name. The, the text just says... Sorry, I just want to say something mm -hmm. so irrelevant. Because it so doesn't make sense. So my brain, plus the T, my brain just totally spaced out. I just mm. uh, want to describe the tone flavor. Mm. I found it for me is quite a visual. What I mean is like I cannot just think of anything but those super old branches with those uh, 
uh, moss, moss right? came mm. from that. And that moss is not wet, uh, not dry. It's so wet, almost juicy. Mm. Just that's an old uh, lichen or other things on the yes. branches as yes. well. Just that image of that mm. specific branch You're really taking me look. back to that grove. <laughs> yeah, that branch look is really what I was yeah. thinking just now while he was reading. Mm -hmm. And that's the what Tong Wei for me is. Yeah, it tastes like that image looks. Yes, right? and you know the air is humid, mm -hmm. the, the moisture. And that's rich why with the whole aroma of the forest. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's, that's why I guess the the moss, like in the image, I felt like the moss was almost dripping wet, mm. kind of a really glossy wet. Anyway, so back to this. Huang Jinggui, uh, in the finished right. translation, this tea is known as Huang Jinggui. Mm -hmm. So, which was my first question. Is mm. this, what is this tea? It depends on how you want to translate and it. Is you it can... a scented tea? <laughs> no, it's not the, a the scented tea. The way they have tea. osmanthus, it looked like it, but then you read it and you're like, oh, maybe it just has those characters. Right, right. Mm. It's, uh, if you want to say Huang Jinggui, means it's a yellow, uh, golden yellow. And the golden osmanthus is a type of osmanthus, right. because we also have red osmanthus than tea. Or you can say Huang Jin. Some people might translate as a uh, golden or gold. Mm -hmm. Gold is a Huang Jin literate. Gui osmanthus. So it depends on how you group that up. But in Pinyin, we just call that a Huang Jin Gui. It's a cultivar. It's uh, uh, Anxi used to have a, a lot of those old times in the nineties when they just start to introduce people to their Anxi product. They say we have. Uh, many many cultivars like uh, uh, Ben Shan, like Jie Guanyin, like Huang Jinggui. Then later on in the 2000, simplify right. Too many people don't know. Not to mention they don't even know Wulong tea. Right. So not to mention all those cultivars. So uh, Anxi have Jie Guanyin. That's it. Yeah. So everything come from Anxi is Jie Guanyin. Just like old time. Uh, the, Later on, that uh, Da Hong Pao, uh, we use the same thing. Anything come out of uh, Wuyi, we right. use Da Hong Pao. Simplify, so to people be remember that. Da Hong Pao equal rock tea. Yeah, yeah right? all Old those times. stuff. Mm. So uh, that cultivar, in when the Tie Guan Yin started to get trendy, uh, you will see a lot of Huang Huang Jinggui sold as Tie Guan Yin. Later on, farmers chop all those up because uh, Huang, uh, Tie Guan Yin sells, Huang Jinggui doesn't sell. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, less of those Sad. cultivars are here. <laughs> <laughs> right? But that's what the right. market demands, right? You're not going to keep making something that uh, sit on the shelf and watch all the other ones go out. Right. So uh, here it mentions why it gets the name. It's because uh, the... It mentions it. What I read though, I had no idea how to decode that. Um, fragrance of sweet augmentus. One early, two odd is an interesting thing in the Finnish translation. It's quite interesting how that, what that means. But here it was just lost, like yes. early. The early was the only thing we got. We've got this early, and also uh, first, uh, why it gets in the name is because uh, it's a liquor is a bright gold, uh, mm. and uh, the aroma is like osmanthus. It has that element there, and. Uh, why it's unique because it's early cultivar so it plucks early it gets on the market early and uh, it's very good looking in terms of the dry leaf quite uniform a little bit yellow and stuff and also the very very unique thing is oh no youtube is freezing could be just then right hopefully hopefully we, looks good on our end okay touch wood <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the uh, the very unique thing is this tea is very very aromatic. Again, it's not mm. sandy tea, but it's pretty right. aromatic and it's relative. It's not like a perfume uh, right. kind right. of uh, uh, aromatic. It's among the teas, among the different cultivars. It's very aromatic. That's why in quotes in the Chinese quotes, it's talking about. Uh, I think in the uh, final translation, I keep the tri Chinese quote. All those quotes are more of a tea terms that I uh, like to right. keep. Wei chang, uh, wei chang wei. Before you even taste that uh, sweet, the taste of the tea, xian wen tou tian xiang means it's extraordinarily aromatic. And mm. um, so 
that's a certain point. It also uh, has a reason why this tea didn't catch on as much as tea guanyin. Tea guanyin, what we talk, what's the uniqueness of tea guanyin we talked about? Yun, right? Ah. Chinese, when we taste the yin tea, yin. Mm. Wan yin yun, right. tea has to have that, uh, the, 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 the so, fundamental thing to support the mouth feel, the taste. Right, the throat feel, the... Mm. The depth, the um, yes, right. So because it was so booming, yeah, it was lack of yun. Yes, I don't want this to sound wrong. It's at a certain point, it's a little bit like a sanded tea, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a more uh, uh, not sanded, like a little bit tasting gray tea. It's right. not uh, just the aroma difference. The sanded has a stronger, a more prominent aroma a lot of mm. times. Mm. But uh, when it comes to the liquor, like when you talk about mouthfeel, talk about texture, it doesn't have it. So Huang Jinggui is a slightly less in terms of the mouthfeel. Right. Mm. Ryan asked the same thing I mm. had when I first read the title. Is this a scented tea or just Osmanthus-like? And it's the second, it's the latter. It's, it just has that memory of Osmanthus in the natural aroma of the tea. It's not a scented tea. But it was confusing. Yes. This is a cultivar. Huang Jinggui is mm. itself mm. a cultivar. Right. Yeah. And I think uh, I saw here somewhere. Right. Uh, I feel like uh, we missed a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and scroll up. Okay. It's a huge overlap, but it's definitely That's the single perfume. Note. Perfume. They both have this unique floral nose. Oh, maybe the... Particularly I know. Dry. Josh had asked so about uh, golden water turtle, but I think you ah, answered that pretty where? completely, really close to the bottom there. Isn't Huang Jinggui like golden water turtle or golden flower? Oh. He gets some confused, but you really explained that it's uh, it can be Huang Jing gold. Uh, what? Great. Yeah, I think a water turtle is another tea, possibly what they're saying. Mm. See, that's why I don't like the translation because mm. it really opens to interpretation and how yeah. people group words. Totally, yeah. So I think uh, Shui Jinggui is the one that you're talking right, about, the golden right. water turtle, because right. Shui is water, mm. Jing is gold, Gui is turtle. Some people translate that as because I guess in English, it doesn't make sense, a water golden turtle. So they become golden water turtle. Mm -hmm. uh, in Chinese, it's Shui Jinggui, that's a Yan Cha cultivar. Mm. This is a Huang Jinggui. It's a, from Anxi. And so Jinggui a, could be an Osmanthus type too. They're like different what? characters. Ah, ah. And uh, different, one is a Gui. This one, Gui, means Osmanthus. Mm. And uh, the other one is Gui, it's the first tone, gotcha. which means turtle. Ah. Mm. There we go. So that's sorted. Right. I don't right. know if that was the one you had seen. Right. And Just it looks like YouTube's sure good for most people. Okay. And okay. Good to know. Thank you guys. I really yeah. appreciate that. If there's anything you uh, send out the feedback really promptly. Yeah. Really helpful mm. for us. Yes. Does it actually? Oh yeah. That's the one we the answered Osmanthus too. The Osmanthus one. Yeah. So yes. I'm going to move this to the background. Mm. Tea book didn't work. Next time, guys, but at least the tea trivia worked, okay? At least the tea trivia worked. <laughs> I would have been super <laughs> bummed if I spent all the morning on getting those ready and I couldn't share those with you guys. So I'm super glad those were able to uh, come across. Um, yes. Let's show them that liquor before we... Uh, let's show them the liquor again. We're on mm -hmm. infusion, I don't know, five, six, seven. We, we don't really don't count. Know. This is Just a gorgeous... Uh, is that focus? Yeah, pretty in focus. Yeah. Gorgeous golden, slightly to the amber red. Red, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Really, um, oh, sorry. Play a little game. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, oh boy. So this, this is the beginning of our um, treat ourselves to some amazing tea over the festive season. I hope you guys do the same. Um, yes. And, uh, are you share. making any tea plants or something? Yeah, are you guys going to have any special teas with, uh, I don't know, Christmas dinner or maybe a Christmas night or anything mm. like that? Is that something that people do? Um, we're, we're, we're planning a little Christmas Eve tea here. Um, we haven't picked the tea yet. That's still up for debate. But we usually just brew something nice on Christmas Eve just before we, uh, we hit the sack. I think we scheduled a Jinju Mei. 
right? Jinjin Mei is on the I roster. I think so. We scheduled uh, Hui Yuan Ken Rou Gui. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. And Zhang Lang, uh, Zhang Lang which mm. we will taste the 2018, 17, 18, the, the one that we, we save up oh, wow. to see how it ages. Mm. The one that is on our website is 2019. That's right. Uh, and uh, those are 50 grand little cakes. Mm -hmm. um, and those are hand pressed. Why? Because we pressed it. My mom That's pressed right. it. That's because right. those are single tree. You know, one tree is very small it's, yeah, quantity. Yeah, it's not a giant batch. That's it's for sure. It's just uh, several uh, uh, couple of key kilo tea. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You cannot open a machine. So uh, for easy transportation and aging, so we just uh, hand press uh, that mm -hmm. into 50 cake. That's why it might be a little bit ugly, but. Uh, I don't think they're ugly at all. <laughs> quite beautiful. Right. Uh, and extremely unique in terms of, you know, that's it. That's the batch uh, from that tree. Yeah, yeah. So Which you can I'm see, really actually. I'm really excited for oh boy. Uh, those teas. And mm. uh, I think... Me too. I'm excited to reach back. I actually mm. didn't notice when I... Because all I did was read what's coming up on our list and I got excited enough, right? Jin Jin Mei, uh, Hui Yuan Kang, my favorite Rogue Yeah. and uh, Jung Lung. I just saw Jung Lung and I was already excited because it takes me back to the 2018 trip. Mm. But I didn't know we were reaching back to check out how it's aging, which will be really fun. Right. Um, mm, yeah. Zinni says, I hadn't thought of having a special tea for Christmas and now you have me thinking. Mm. Yeah. Oh, was that on purpose? It might have been. <laughs> <laughs> And Ryan says, I ordered some specialties with intentions of drinking it over Christmas, but it's still in shipping, so I don't know if it'll actually... I'll cross my fingers for you, buddy. I hope it gets yeah, there. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Fernanda well, were... ordered more Dragon Balls but mail, by mail, but only the gods know at the oh. moment, right? Yeah, it's a tricky season. Igor says, every day tea is a holiday tea. That's a good one. Yeah, that's the that's a perfect attitude. That's kind of our attitude. We're really light on holidays. We enjoy the festivals for sure. But we just kind of try and enjoy every day. And uh, right. And Josh says, hand-pressed cakes are beautiful in their uniqueness. Yes. They're pretty. And, and she's pretty hard on herself. They're pretty darn good. <laughs> I, I, uh, until you re-mentioned it, I totally forgot that they were hand pressed because I mean they look they well, look the great. Well the pro hand press they still got to use hand to do it just that they are more uniform the way they did it and we did that not as uniform as I'd like to but mm. anyways those yeah. are good teeth. So. Grab one guys and check it for yourself let us know how you like the hand pressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right guys so that wraps up this episode of Sunday Tea Book. Um, looking forward to next week. We'll see if we can get the uh, the tea book back on the screen for you we guys. We have to. Yeah, we'll figure that out. And um, next, <gasps> anything this Thursday? I, I'm not a. Uh... No, we're taking a break this Thursday. Oh, Thursday is Christmas. Christmas yep. Eve. Yeah, we're mm. so Thursday is Christmas Eve. So we're there... trying not to give you any uh, live attacks, but no guarantee. Yeah, we may we may do some spontaneous crazy stuff. Who knows? Mm -hmm. um, and then we're back next week with uh, the next episode, episode 26 of Sunday Tea Book, which is going to, I think, wrap up the Oolong section. Yes, that I will think. be the last episode of Oolong session we're going to talk about. And after that, we'll be moving into Bai Hao Oolong and Wenshan Baozhou. Nice. And then we'll be moving into black tea into mm. the new year-ish or just before the new year. We'll see. I think that will be new year new by year. then. Yeah. Mm. So that is how we are progressing. We're really making our way through here. So um, anything else last minute we should say? Well, since we're getting the end of this, if you are still here and if you have any suggestions for future China tea book as we're almost done. This is right. what's left over. Future publications that you want us to look at. Uh, just we have that session in discord you can just mm. shoot us pop it in discord pop it in the comments down below uh socials facebook twitter whatever wh however you want to communicate just let us know mm -hmm. you guys have a wonderful holiday uh yes. happy holidays to everyone and we will see you next week or maybe sooner we don't know <laughs> but until next time guys keep steeping keep steeping bye bye